Last January 4th, 35-year-old Marjorie Melly was robbed, raped, and stabbed to death at the end of her number 23 bus line. 20-year-old Curtis Harris was arrested the next day and charged with the crime. In a pretrial hearing, he said he was on the bus, but another man killed Mrs. Melly. But today, before jury selection was about to begin, his public defenders told Judge Richard Bell they wanted to enter a special plea of insanity. That means Harris is insane now and is incompetent to stand trial. An all-white jury of seven men and five women was seated and began hearing from witnesses just concerning Harris's mental state. Harris's mother took the stand. She said sometimes her son made sense and sometimes he didn't. But she said if he did commit the crime, there would have to be something wrong with him. Harris's common-law wife, Jacqueline Hooper, took the stand. She said sometimes Curtis would forget things. Finally, Harris himself took the stand. He oftentimes acted bewildered and confused. He told the Cab County District Attorney Bob Wilson, there ain't nothing wrong with me. I don't know what the charges are against me, and I don't care. An obviously irritated Wilson shot back. The man I've talked to before is nothing like the man I'm talking to now. From the DeKalb County Courthouse, Lynn Harrison, Action News.